Because that is definitely <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every, every show we say, you know, we're professional and everybody bursts out laughing. <laughs> I don't know, I find that quite upsetting. <laughs> um, well, hopefully we're going to be quite professional in, uh, in about uh, 10 minutes time. Oh yes, of course, because we're actually going live on this morning in about 10 minutes right here. So all of you here will be part of that link on the telly. We're going a bit risky this morning. Um, we all said, I don't know, this is a good idea, but we've got to get the timing absolutely right. So when Eamon and Ruth throw to us, we're going to be on the other side of our revolve because that revolve goes around. And during the course of our minute and a half, two minutes, that revolve is allegedly going to come round and <laughs> reveal us to you. If it doesn't, can some of you get up and push it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to rehearse that now, so uh, should we go and do that again? We'll rehearse a little bit of live telly and uh, and so hopefully when we do it, hello there, how are you? That's, that's a lovely one. Oh, another one. Hi. Uh, I started everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll go and rehearse this and uh, and then hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, it'll all work at 10.30. Alright, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Have a Five minutes to go live on the telly. Five minutes to go in live on the telly and none of us have a clue what we're doing. <laughs> Let everyone have a little practice uh, backstage here. I can tell you some of the things that are going to be happening here on the studio stage. So at 10.40, if there's any fashionistas here today, you can join Lisa Snowden and me as we'll be going through the season's best occasion wear. So if you've got a special occasion like a wedding or a special birthday, uh, here we'll be looking at this morning models, looking at all the glorious looks that you could be buying today. Uh, okay, and Sh Sh Sharon Marshall, who you saw earlier, she's going to be talking with Dr. Ranch. That's happening here at three, and she'll be talking through her fertility issues that she told you just there. And then John Tarot will be back on stage as well. <coughs> Love him the first time. We're going to see him again here at 3:25, and he'll be showing us how we can cook some really nice things on the barbecue for our friends and loved ones this summer. Uh, in addition to shopping, we've got the beauty stadium over there where you can have facials, massages, makeovers, all of that. And if you love some of the ITV brands like Coronation Street, I'm a Celeb. Who saw Holly and I'm a Celeb? Wasn't she fabulous? She did such a good job. Well, over here in the ITV village, I love this. They've got this brand immersive area where you can go and take a selfie, pulling us pulling yourself a pint in the Rovers for Coronation Street. They've even got from I'm a Celeb a bush truck of trial where you can go in and there's a guy who actually I don't know if he's Australian but he does a fantastic Australian accent where you can pretend to do the trial as well. So get involved in that it's loads of fun. Now it's also worth saying that throughout the day you can meet lots of the this morning family on the set which is just over in that corner there. Okay and that's happening at different times of the day. Uh, the first one will be with Holly and Phil at 10.45 and we've got John Road at 12.15. Oh, well, that's gone there in a minute, so we've got to be quiet. Is that right, Vicky? Do you want to be quiet? <laughs> oh, maybe in a minute I'll be quiet. Okay. So John, 12.15. And just to remember, remind you about the shows, centre stage. Oh, I'm going to be quiet now then. It's only 27 now. Folks, good morning. Here we go again on Fridays this morning, and we are definitely in the Friday mood, are we not? Guys? We certainly are. We've got a big weekend planned. Really looking forward to meeting lots of you at the this morning live event, which is currently happening at the NEC in Birmingham. School <laughs> live, so yeah, not bad. And Phil and Holly and the morning family have got everything started yet. <laughs> Yeah, have the best time. Yeah. 
best day. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you guys. Thank you. So we've just come from centre stage. No, studio stage. Which is this. Um, I tried to film the best I can with a camera mag anyway. So I got what I could. The full stage intro will be on this channel at some point. Um, we're at the RTV Village now. Uh, it's like immersive areas, like it's on the 17th of Medale, on Street. Very busy. Very busy. It is very busy. Um, so yeah, we're just about to leave. Yeah, bigger, so it's really good. Um, oh my god, you know, I'm a 70 Emma Dale, it's an 83. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start at the end where the entrance was because everyone's just coming from that the stage, so they're all gonna be down there. So we're gonna start down here. I'll show you some shots of the stalls. Yeah, so far, good. I was very disappointed in last year's show. I think how, already. Yeah, and how VIPs were treated as well. Yeah. We actually get to keep the tickets this year because I Competition. <coughs> Every other year they've thrown away their tickets, which is weird. I know it's only really little, but funny enough, in Nashi's video, I said they need like a closed stage, and this is what they've got, which is really weird that they've got this now. But I said it on Nashi's video, and then there we have it. Yeah. There's a lot less stages this year, isn't there? I think that's what we're doing. Like one, I think it's better. Two. One, one so far. Or two. Well, yeah. We did get in 15 minutes early, which is good. So much um, Yeah. Year. Hopefully they've listened to people. Has the camera was on us? Yeah. But you said if it was on TV, you'd get a bit back up there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, a few things to tell you. Paul, I would like to ask you whether you would like to be a winner courtesy of ITV. Hands up if you'd like to win some amazing prizes. Shit. Right, I'm going to make that happen. But See? first of all, I will stress this. You will notice that tonight, or should, tonight, should I say, <laughs> this morning, we are indeed filming you. Can you see the cameras down here? So do remember, especially for the guy in the second row there, that looks like he's trying to pass a kidney stone. <laughs> we want you to smile because we'll film this and we'll put you up on the big screen there. Oh, here come the Kardashians. Hello, ladies. <laughs> they cut out this microphone for some reason. I don't know what's happening, but I'll continue until someone hopefully gives me a new microphone. Now, this is what we're going to do. Now, when Holly and Phil come out, I'm going to ask a big favour. We are going to do something that we've never done before. We are going to get you guys singing, dancing, throwing some shapes, really? and shaking it like a freaking Polaroid picture. We are going to get everybody here singing. However, if you don't sing, 
We are going to drag you from your seat onto the dance floor here, where you will have to do your own solo dance routine to MC Hammer's Hammer Time. So, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, wherever you're from, who's from Birmingham? Anyone outside Birmingham? Have we got anyone perhaps over Westway? Anyone from Wales? Yeah, you can't whoop when I say Wales. to the O2, you know that. <laughs> Let's hear ya! Woo! Amazing! Hello, fantastic! Hello, darling, how are you? Hello, everyone over there! Hello, hello, hello! Who, um, who has never watched this morning and has been dragged here into the screen? <laughs> who has never there watched? There you go. There's always a few of you over there. Out. <laughs> if, you, if you've never watched us, then uh, this is what we do. And you just wonder how we are allowed on live TV. <laughs> yeah, and lots of people ask us, I mean, are you ever taken to one side and told off by the bosses? <laughs> Never once. <laughs> Never once. But yet also another thing people say to us is who starts it? Like, who's the naughtiest? And I, I kind of want to ask your help with this today because I, I know it's not me. So yeah. just quite a round of cheers. If you think it's Phil, cheer now. Yeah. That's the closest it's ever been, guys. Don't <laughs> Why did I start it? Because you've got that laugh, that <laughs> wheezy wheeze, wheeze all over the place. <laughs> so just <laughs> what's that wheeze all over the place? There we are. Um, when uh, when you came in today, you <laughs> will have seen <laughs> this um, this picture. Uh, on its easel down there, and we actually actively said, please feel free to touch its unusual texture to get up nice and close for a selfie. So who did that? Who got up nice and close hands up for a selfie there. with our, with our, yeah, there's a few okay. hands dotted around here, got nice and close for a and selfie. We, can... we encourage people, it's like <coughs> art, we encourage you to run your hands over it and feel it. Touch. 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 We can actually do one better than that because uh, where's Diane, Aaron and Aidan? Where are you? There you are, look, there's your, look, there's your picture. Look, you've all had a selfie, well done. Uh, Chris and Michelle, where's Chris and Michelle? Where are you? Where are you? Here! Oh, yeah. Here! Over there! Oh, Chris and Michelle, look, there's you up there having your selfie. And finally, Sally Ann, where's Sally Ann? Here, she says. Over there! Hi, Sally Ann! Sally Ann, there you are, look, you have lovely kiss. Yeah, That's you got you got really close to it. Your cheek almost touching there. Absolutely. Well, yeah, and that really was very, very close. I feel like we might need to explain. Yeah. This is how it was painted. So what I'm saying is, Diane, Aaron, Aiden, Chris, and Michelle, go and wash your hands. Sunny, go get yourself a shower. <laughs> Look really, really closely at it. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> what, I mean, I mean that's definitely frozen, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's medical. It's medical. We're allowed to say that. But you didn't think you'd hear Holly say that, <laughs> because that is definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we, uh, we never get the opportunity to do, well we do quite a lot of this on the telly, but we, you know, just to be able to say thank you, um, to be able to see you, which is lovely, we sit in the studio, we're, we're not lucky enough to have a studio audience, so we, uh, we get to see you once a year, and we absolutely love it, and it's the opportunity for, for us to say we're incredibly proud of our team, enormously proud of our show, um, and, uh, and every year, um, thankfully, we uh, we have the time of our lives at the NTA Awards. Uh, it is a public vote, a voted for by the people who love this morning. Voted for by you in here, and thank you. Thank you. You never ever take it for granted. It means so much. <coughs> the show what it is. We make this show for you and we feel that you are so much a part of it. So thanks very much. We, um, we wanted to, um, we've got, we brought a couple of NTAs over. Uh, this is this year's. This was one we were lucky enough to win this year if you voted. Then thank you very much indeed. And then this one over here, which strangely is, is a little sticky. Um, it's a little sticky. It's a little messy. 
Is this the one from 2016? Yeah, I would like to say I remember it well. Sadly, <laughs> not much of it. This is the one that we won that meant that we led to that show. <laughs> <laughs> um, then what we've got here is a kind of toy box of props. Prop box? Yeah. Uh, of which I've got, each of them has got a memory or a moment from this morning. So we thought we'd have and a look through here. all these. What's oh, the okay. <laughs> so, where are the symbols? It's right! <laughs> The yeah, well, a Holly has this, um, <coughs> you may or may not know, it's, it's, it's appeared a couple of times on the show, but Holly has, I, I, I like to call it, name dyslexia. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and sometimes, it, you like simple names. I'm like Katie Smith, I'm fine, those yeah. sort of, any, gets any longer than that, then I get all sorts of muddled. Um, yeah, and, and normally it happens I'm right sorry. at the very oh, end of the show. Yeah. So if we're saying what's on the show the next day, there is no time to correct it, because that's it, goodbye, we're off. And, uh, and Holly said uh, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the show, uh, we've got Anal Kapoor. <laughs> <laughs> and we were off, it's like, what the hell did you just yeah. say? Burke Bur Bur and Bacharach, <laughs> who's on the show. And then after the show, we record a promo for the next day. That's right, so uh, the next day we had a lovely weatherman coming up, and his first name was Thomas, his second name, which you all will know very well, is a lot more complex than that. His <laughs> favourite weatherman, Thomas Schaffernacker, shows us Weatherman, Thomas Schaffernacker, shows us You mouth that lady, right? She says that looking half her age is a curse because she's too attractive to find a man. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Shaffanaka. Shaffanaka. <laughs> yeah, I've got it now, I've got it now. Right, what else have we got? Come then, let's have a look. Uh, oh, Ooh, I know what this uh, is. It's Chili's. Oh, oh, I yes. fell into a burning ring of fire. Uh, and actually, it's funny we are playing Burning Ring of Fire, because that's where this story ends. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go back to the beginning of this, and this him saying that I'm very competitive. Actually, this time you you are competitive. I know I am, but I do. Who, I really, who just... thinks Holly is competitive? Yeah. Who thinks Holly is more competitive than me? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I agree with that. However, not even I was stupid enough to take on the one chip challenge. Yeah. So it's the one the one chip challenge was something that was going around online, and uh, it is essentially a Dorito. You buy it. Uh, it comes in a tin foil wrapper, one Dorito and it is um, full of the essence of the Carolina Reaper. And the Carolina Reaper is the hottest <laughs> chili on the planet. Stupid. And so, there was this, um, it was a, a challenge that if you ate it, you couldn't drink milk, because milk was the only thing that would calm your stomach. It was unbelievably fire in your head, but then it made you feel sick. Don't drink milk. And the, and the record was seven minutes. Yeah. And so I was determined, and we recorded this after the show had come off air, I was determined that I was going to beat the seven minutes. Now watch this clip, because I am unsure as to why. Um, I am eating the chip, but Holly is wearing protective goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and why is Alison Hannah eating ice cream throughout? <laughs> actually, I wasn't actually sick. But our boss, <coughs> paramedic in my dressing room. <laughs> what was the last thing you said to me as I got up and left the studio? I'll oh, hold your hair back. <laughs> it's what friends do. It's what friends do. Well, suffice to say that the next day, the next morning, our neighbours heard me scream. <laughs> Hey, burns, burns, burns. <laughs> anyway, let's leave that there. Uh, right, our oh, next one. one. Oh, this is a little slop. Guy. What was this all about? Well, I mean, I learned I learned something on the show. One thing you may not know this: we uh, played a film about uh, inside Britain's first slop retirement home. Who knew they needed retirement homes to go to? This one in Britain. So this triggered a memory that I had, where somebody told me a fact once about slops, and I decided to share it. <laughs> With everyone. We, uh, we, we obviously even ridiculed Polly that day. If, uh, if you tip a, sloth, a sloth the other way, around, <laughs> then it will explode and they don't fart. Polly is not one to, uh, I'm not letting it to, go. to let something lie, and so. Well, I went to the world renowned website 
Does it fart? A definitive guide to animal flatulence. <laughs> and they say sloths do not fart. I thank you. This is due to their incredibly slow digestion and slow lifestyle in general. That instead of putting the effort required into a fart, they simply reabsorb the gases into their intestines, into their bloodstream. But they can't be bothered to fart. They can't be bothered to fart. It also suggests that a build-up of gases over a long time could cause sloths to become sick or even burst. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what's next? Come here. Ah, okay. <coughs> Pumpkins. Beat the match. He took the monster match. Uh, we uh, have a thing on this morning. We uh, we love uh, Halloween. We love to, to go large uh, at Halloween. <laughs> and um, and so we've done a number of different things. Um, I love Beetlejuice one year. And, uh, and they said, okay, so for the next Halloween, what do you want to do? And I said, I would like to be the uh, Night King from Game of Thrones. Anyone watching Game of Thrones? Okay. So, uh, so they said, we're never going to let you do that. So, well, why don't, why don't we just call them? Let's call Game of Thrones and see what they say. Call Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones said, absolutely, we're up for it. We'll do the full nine yards, the whole makeup, the lot, with the team that actually do the Night King with his prosthetics, his prosthetic team. It took weeks and weeks to go in and have all the measurements done. Uh, and so they altered uh, the prosthetic measurements from his face into mine. I went and had the blue uh, contact lenses made, the whole thing. I was so excited. It took six hours to put it on. It took four hours to take it off. And that was the, that the end final result. So we're all very happy in uh, this morning's studios. Yeah. Bill looks like he's just walking off set and gave his throat. This is good. Bear in mind what we do for a job is we present live for two hours, which means we are presenters while we are meant to speak and talk. The message comes through from the lovely people at Game of Thrones about ten minutes before air that the Night King cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> right, well that's going to be somewhat of a Easy problem. show I'm <laughs> <laughs> Two hours and I am not allowed to speak and we asked them why and they said the Night King has never spoken, the Night King will never speak and especially in, in light of the last three weeks if you're watching Game of Thrones, they were very concerned that anyone who watched the Night King when they saw him would only think of my voice. <laughs> And that wheezy laugh, which would ruin everything. <laughs> ruin everything. So they thought that might take the sort of fright out of the Night King. If, oh, like if he suddenly spoke and went, I'm sorry, Jon Snow, but no. <laughs> so, uh, so that was one that, you know, that, that worked pretty well, but then fell apart at the end. And there was one that we did um, with, uh, with, with Rylan. Um, and we love, we love a, a joke. We love to make people laugh. And, uh, and so... Um, I was presenting the show, because <coughs> you were in Australia. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and we hidden the guy. Rylan is very <laughs> funny when you make him jump. Um, he is a, a hilarious jumper. And so, um, so we hid a guy uh, underneath the desk uh, uh, called Ray. And, um, and so at, at a given cue, Ray would jump out of the desk and frighten Rylan. And it would happen spontaneously. And so Ray is in the desk and he's got an earpiece in and I can hear the gallery then say, right, Q Ray, Ray, Q, Q Ray, Q Ray, Ray, Q. And I'm sitting there listening thinking he's not going to do it. So then I had to take matters into, into my own hands. <laughs> so the thing is that um, there had been a miscommunication first thing in the morning and um, one of our team members misunderstood. He was actually called Jay. <laughs> and so when we said uh, Q Ray, he said it was not me. Not me. Uh, and so when finally I banged on the table and he thought, well, maybe it's me, he jumped out. And we, uh, the poor guy, it was his one moment of glory. And uh, we got his bloody name wrong. So, Hugh Jay. Hugh Jay. Bless it. Oh, are we are you live? Are we live on this morning? Yeah, we're live on this morning. Oh, say hello. Thank you.
stage was really good, really funny. Um, I couldn't film on the screen until I was copyright for my TV. Um, well, you should, well, you I filmed a bit, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to do it just in case. Uh, but yeah, really good, really funny. Uh, you can see on the TV. You, when did you watch it? Um, someone messaged me saying I can see on the phone. And then you are? something else came up. Oh, there you are. Sure. Okay. So we're just going to walk around for a bit and then we're going to have a meet and greet with Phil and Holly. So we met Holly and Phil and we've eaten for the picture here. Uh, yeah, we're just hanging around now. Mm, like, oh no, dark, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Didn't like that though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is she lying by me? <laughs> Stand the corner and go up there apparently. But we normally do this and it lasts about five seconds. So we'll see. I'll show you some of the stores. Hold on a minute. Uh, hold on, she's catching them all. It's like Pokemon, catch them all. <laughs> Here we go, number three. Yes, it's good timing, good timing. Oh, get the green one up. Four, lock, quick, get it out, it's stuck. Taking it home. Quiet, start, stop the clock. Here we are. We're in the Dream Lodge. I like this. It's very nice. I want to see them. This is nice, isn't it? Mm. This is what you want. Oh, wow. It's all bigger than... The, the nastiest yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I like this room. Oh, wow. I like that. Wasn't expecting this. I don't want this as a kid's room, in my room. I saw room. it on the TV and I thought that bed was really small. It's massive in reality. Yeah. Yeah. Same as that one. Oh, look. We've got a porthole, look. Oh, oh, need very exciting though. I like to see that babies and they said I'm so sorry there's nothing actually there it's it's not actually worked so that was the, the first time um, then we went through and then we, we managed to get pregnant um, it was um, it was the August before Betsy um, and it's unfortunately it was an ectopic pregnancy um, so I was very lucky I went for the scan actually because I was supposed to do a job at Emmerdale in the middle of a field um, and I thought I'll go for a scan the day before and they said I'm really sorry 
sorry, is a topic. We're going to have to rush you into hospital yes. now. Because that's potentially quite serious. Yes. It means when the baby's stuck in the tube, it just got lost. It just went the wrong way. Are they still on the show, do you reckon? I think they are. There was an afternoon show. What show? What time? Wasn't there three? Wasn't there three? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good day. Might be worth going there, but hard to try and get a seat. Even if we wait an hour, but it's Dr. Ryan's and the same. Yeah. Um, Even if we have to play musical chairs and keep moving to the seats. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. The dream was really nice. Stalls aren't my thing, really. Uh, I bought a few things, but nothing massive. They're all right, but I think. We've spent a bomb as usual. I have not. You have. You always spend a fortune. How many spent? 50, 50 20. Quid, no, 50, 20 of them things. I have to shave 33. I have 33, huh? And he bought the brownie. Yeah, they were the party for yeah. And yet, we've still got like three hours left. I've been on the shelves. They've probably spent about 100 quid. Yeah, it's been good. I've seen them turn up gin. What gin? Well, they've been walking around the glasses. They've got really nice. They've got a little sesame gin. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, Do you want a chocolate one? Yeah, but I'm going to get a drink. Just chill for a bit. By the village, we're going to do this and we'll watch the best bits. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Bert, for your own. The best Happy Berries had by a lot. 
Bloody Mary, Steve Shakes, chicken sandwiches, bread with cheese and bacon inside. It's been awesome. Oh my but, god, you're making me hungry. Oh my god, we were waiting for a delivery. We were waiting for something. I've had two soggy digestives. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. We've just had some Tommy vodka delivered. Yeah. In bulk. So yeah, oh. uh, we're going to enjoy that in a minute. And, uh, and the sweet ones. So, uh, what's up today? Do you know what? Great day. So many things have happened today. But we talked about making your life happier, the benefits of sighing, which lots of people love because they've stopped us since. And it's just been fabulous. And we have had, honestly, the best hugs. You guys are incredible huggers. Thank you so much. Hugging so important. Hug you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed to all. time at the NEC and this morning live uh, to an end this year. Oh, thank you so much for having us here in Birmingham every year. We absolutely come, love coming here and getting to meet each and every one of you. Hope you've all got your selfies and they turned out alright. If not, we'll do a final one now. So cheers! As good as, as good next year. Right. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. The next vlog on the channel will be no idea. <laughs> no plans at the moment. Hopefully, Fort Park soon. Um, I know we want to go soon. And probably another vlog to on Towers at some point. So, thanks for watching. And see you in the next one.